Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki. If you're new and for those who's been watching, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I feel like I haven't posted in a while. I was really like not motivated to make video because I'm having a pest infestation. I'm sure everybody goes through this phase where you don't just don't want to talk about anything because it's so frustrating and depressing. But um, I had fungus knots and spider mite infestation before and they weren't that hard to get rid of or like I didn't have like I didn't feel as much as much frustrated as this time but I had um, I'm having a thrip problem I think I got it from one of the new plants that I bought um, it's my plumeria um, and then because Plumeria needs a lot of sun. I keep moving the plant back into the window with all the plants and then back to, you know, to the, the place that I want it to be. And the reps, they can fly, so they just like spread it everywhere. And um, by the time I found out there was a pest on my Plumeria, it has already spread it to like a lot of my plants. So it's really frustrating and yeah like it it's a nasty pest um because it gives really um the leaves gets really damaged and they look so ugly now like some of my plants are really ugly right now because of the thrips damaged i will show you some of the picture here what they look like when they are damaged by thrips but um yeah i had to cut out like trim back so many of my plants and I also like try to transition them in like a so that I could just you know like dunk the whole plant <laughs> in a soap water instead of like using insecticide um soap uh the the um what I was gonna say so the thrips is really nasty bug it pests and I really want you to be careful so I want um just wanted to share here what I what I'm doing right now and it's I think it's getting much better I still see like few of them but not as much there I think um, the, the population is definitely decreasing but um, at first I was using this um, in uh, the in insecticide spray um, and also um, uh, be careful you have to read your uh, read the uh, instruction on this because I at first this is like the first time I used this one but before I was using the same brand in yellow which you could just um, use it right away so I thought I could just use this without mixing with water because I didn't read the instruction and <laughs> realized it was way too thick and um, unfortunately I pretty much uh, kill my one of my Calithea that's like still struggling I don't want to throw away because I still have hope for it to come back but anyway so read the instruction when you use this kind of um, insecticide spray so I've been spraying this with uh, some of my plants especially my um, Monstera adesonia has been really struggling and it's a big plant too so it's really hard to um you know quarantine my plant because i live in a condo i don't really have space for that anymore but i have been spraying with this like every two three days and then like every other day i would make a you know homemade um spray with the hydrogen peroxide and lavender oil and dish soap and water and I spray all my plants every morning so that I can also inspect at the same time but I spray with this every morning with everything in the house pretty much but um, in the morning because you don't want uh, some of the plants don't really like to be mist like succulents I guess so I try to not to spray mist my succulents a lot but once in a while I do just in case but um yeah my point is inspect your plants and also um mess your plant with some sort of homemade um spray as well and um what else 
yeah, I wanted to show you. So my my pride and you know, what do you call it? Pride and joy. Yeah, pride and joy plant. My monster the Sony eye gotten infected so badly. I had to trim back so many of their leaves, and I still could see like, you know, I just don't have the nerve to like cut all the you know like i can't really cut it all all of it i should probably like trim it down but like i i don't have the gut you know they're beautiful so, so there, you can still see like a lot of damaged leaves so i'm still spraying i haven't spotted any thrips yet on this plant but i'm still spraying because you never know there could be eggs somewhere still and could be hatching anytime so I'm spraying like misting every day with this and it also actually smells nice too so I think it's good so so this is this is a problem I'm facing right now so I'm like yeah it's really depressing I'm sure if you ever had thrips you can understand but this pest is so hard to get rid of because they, they, they can fly and yeah, just go on to the next plants and then to the next one. So <laughs> my advice is to inspect your plant and then have a clean your leaves and, or like mix your plant with some kind of, you know, um, mix, you know, what do you call it? The prevention, preventional mist. And... For me, I'm trying to put most of my plants in liquor so I can, if I ever spot any, you know, pests, I would just put it in a big full of water mixed with dish soap and like dunk the whole thing. <laughs> Let it drown and die. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's a short video, but um, I thought I should share this because thrips are really nasty and yeah I'm sure there's a lot of video out there but this is my experience talking about thrips so I'll see you on my next one I hope it's a good video not a you know like a pest problem video again but uh, I haven't done my plant haul video and also like wanted to do an update on my lekas as well and I have a few Hoyas that I collect this, so hopefully I can make more videos soon and at least like try to upload once a week. So I'll see you on my next one. Bye!